Hello guys, in today's video, I will show you how to create an educational science quiz using the quiz and survey master plugin. In order to create our science quiz, I have already created a dummy WordPress website using InstaWP. It's one of the finest platforms to create disposable WordPress websites to test your ideas and tools for free. Here, you can build a quick disposable WordPress website in no time. So let's dive into it. I have already installed the QSM plugin on my website. To see how to install QSM plugin in your website, click on the information card in the top right corner of this video. Let's start by creating the quiz. Number 1. Hover over QSM, then click on Quizzes or Surveys. Number 2. Once you click on Create a Quiz or Survey, the first thing we see is to select a theme for the quiz. QSM has a collection of stunning themes but for now, let's go with the default theme and click on Next. The last step is now on Quiz Setting. We get an option for the initial setup of our quiz. Let's set a name for the quiz and select what kind of form we are using. Time limit, you can set a timer to your form. You could also select if you want only logged in users to be able to fill the form. Let's not do that for a time being. Now comes the add-on section where we get to see the most used or popular add-ons of QSM. You could select any add-ons as per your requirements to add more features to your forms, quizzes, and surveys. Currently, we don't need any add-ons, so let's click on Create Quiz. Here comes the Questions tab, where we can enter our questions for the Human Body Quiz. Let's enter the questions for our quiz. Let's start with the first one to check about the user's knowledge of the human body. After entering the question, on the right-hand side, you can choose a type of question and answer from the drop-down. I am taking the multiple-choice type question for all the questions and writing three answer choices. You can give the points for the respective answers if you want to show the score. And, if you want, you can mark the question as required, so this question can't be skipped. Then click on Save Question. Since our first question is saved, let's click on Create a Second Page Question at the bottom of the Questions tab. So let's create the second page with the second question. For this question also, we will be selecting the multiple choice type question and writing answer choices with respective points. Now, let's create a third page with third question and repeating the process. Save the question. Now, all the questions are saved. Let's set up a contact field to collect the name of an applicant. Click on Add New Field and let's select the field type as a small open answer and label it as Full Name. Let's select the Use For section and select Name there. Let's add another contact field to take the respective date. And let's select the field type as date and label it as date. Let's select the use for section and select business there. Then click on the save contact field. Now since our question for the quiz is set and the contact field is configured to collect the user details, let's set our final result page for the quiz as per the score. So go to the result pages tab here, you can set conditions as per you when this page should be shown. Now, after setting the conditions, we have to design the final result page that we have to show people. So, enter the message and take different variables from these templates. I am taking the username variable to put in my message. Also, you need to put the extra variable, which is percent certificate underscore link percentage in all caps, so that our user can download the completion certificate from this link. You can also write the result description if you want. After creating a result page, we have to set up our quiz certificate. For this, I have already purchased and added the certificate add-on on my website here. Click on the certificate tab here, and here you can see the settings which we have to show on our final certificate page. Look at the first setting. You have to put yes here to enable the certificate for this quiz. Secondly, you can keep the font as it is here. Third is the title. So, 
write the desired title of your choice. Fourth is the body content of your certificate. So write the required content for your certificate. Here you can take whichever variables you want from the left side list. After that, URL to logo. So, if you want to show your company logo, you can paste the logo URL here. I am keeping this blank as of now. And the last is background URL. I am taking the certificate background image URL from my WordPress media library, as you can see. And the last, save settings. Let's preview our science quiz by clicking on the preview icon at the top right corner of the page. As you can see, we have created the human body quiz successfully with all the separate three pages with one question on each page and it's working just fine. Also, you can see the timer running on the rightmost bottom of the page. On our result page, here is a download link for the certificate. Click on that and this is the final quiz completion certificate with the total score. And that's all for this tutorial. Stay tuned for new tutorials. Until next time, bye-bye and stay safe.